Viens, je t'emmène chez moi, là où tu grandiras dignement. Revolt, rage and despair. There's nothing 22-year-old slam poet Kayla doesn't speak about. Whether it's the government, globalization or domestic violence, this slam poet does not mince her words. J'ai un texte qui parle d'une femme I have a text that's about a woman who was being beaten up at home. The message I want to get across is that just because I'm a woman, and as they say in Malagasy, Malemi Fanaka, I'm not a soft object that you're going to trample or beat up. Kyla's first music video is a protest song which, amongst other topics, criticizes the Madagascan government. But she's not just about performing. Once a week she visits this organization to speak with young mothers, encouraging them to use slam poetry to express themselves with abandon. I wish I had another life, to live without contempt. I wish I lived in a nice house, to not be a victim when the hurricane hits. Nanjara attends the sessions with Kayla. She became pregnant when she was 16 and now lives alone in this room with her four-month-old child. I was living with my boyfriend. When he found out I was pregnant, he left me. Now there's just me and my baby. But what worries me most is to have to find money as I'm still training. In Madagascar, one in three teenage girls falls pregnant or has a child by the age of 18. I was pregnant, pregnant. I couldn't hide it. Who should be ashamed, you or me? I sweat like oil. For these women, slam is a way to tackle any topic, religion, money, even sex. A funny thing about prostitution, for example, is to say, there you go, there's no such thing as a bad job. I'm a prostitute and I own that. You feel the joy of living or the strength to say, despite what happened to me, I'm still a strong woman. Slam poetry has brought these women together, helping them learn to express and accept themselves just as they are.